Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M. I think we all can agree that every man, no matter who you are, where you're from, needs that one favorite pair of jeans. That favorite pair of jeans, man, mm, it's like your best friend, except they never borrow money. It's like the perfect woman, except it doesn't talk back and give you crap for wanting to go hang out with your boys. It's like a loyal dog, except better, because it doesn't crap on the rug and then scoot across it, leaving skin marks. But finding that perfect pair of jeans is definitely easier said than done. And a lot of times that searching is a shopping odyssey. Lots of stores, lots of brands, lots of time, and lots of money. But lately you've been hearing a lot about this term, raw or dry denim. And so I thought that I would do a video and explain it so that you understand why denim heads are mocking and spitting on your pre-distressed jeans. Today, gentlemen, we are going raw. Raw denim. The first thing I'd like to clarify though, if you're already into raw denim, you are going to hate this video. This is more like denim for dummies, all right? You know you're already cooler than me and I know you're already cooler than me. So so just sit back, relax, and let me talk to the adults. And the first thing the rest of you need to know is that there is a huge subculture of dudes that are very passionate about their pursuit of denim perfection. But once you understand a little bit more about the process, you may understand. So gentlemen, it's time to get educated on raw denim. Well, before your favorite jeans get shipped to your local store for you to buy and wear and look amazing in, they start in a factory, obviously. And most of the times, they get washed prior to being shipped. They get washed after the dyeing process has been done. And what happens is, some of that dye comes off during the washing process. That washing also makes those jeans a little bit more comfortable, also pre-shrinks them, and gives you a better idea of what those jeans are going to look like in the foreseeable future. Raw denim, it starts its life just like every other pair of jeans. Nothing special there. It gets made, it gets dyed, but then it gets shipped out. It skips the washing process. What you're left with is a very dark fabric. You're also going to find that the fabric is a little bit drier and harder feeling. Thus the term dry denim, which is synonymous with raw denim. And here's a great example of a pair of raw denim jeans. They are incredibly dark, they look hard and crunchy to the touch. That's because they are. So now you're probably thinking, what's the big deal? So they're jeans that haven't been washed. I get them, I try them, I like them. Yeah, they look good. I take them home, I wash them, boom. No big deal, right? I'm wearing raw denim, baby. I'm cool. Uh-uh, Jack. That ain't how it works. And here's where we're going to separate the raw denim men from the raw denim boys. Proper raw denim protocol is that you buy the jeans in the raw and you wear them every day. Mm-hmm for six months, minimum six months. A lot of people say that you need to go a full year to get the full effect. You wear them day in, day out, every day for six months before their first wash. So to recap, you buy the jeans, you wear them every single day. They go everywhere, do everything. If you read any of the denim blogs, it's very romantic. It's very sort of salt of the earth stuff. You wear these jeans. These jeans experience everything you experience. It, it, it is. I mean, I, it appeals to me. Conceptually, it appeals to me. Well, after six months or a year's worth of wear and tear, what happens is those jeans develop different creases. And all the whiskering and distressing that you see on the jeans that you buy right off the rack happens, but it happens naturally. And it is a custom pair of jeans. This is the result of a year's worth of wear and one wash. The jeans on the left is where we started. Virgin jeans. The jeans on the right, that's what we're left with after daily wear and then a wash. You're left with a beautiful, custom, one-of-a-kind pair of jeans that you created. But wait a second. Every day... Dude, how do those jeans smell? They freaking stink. That's right, gentlemen. The process of developing that perfect pair of jeans is not for the faint of heart or faint of smell. Because the process, it is a stinky one. I wore these jeans two days without washing them and they, they stink like balls, dude. Can you imagine a year? Well, here's the deal. If you are going to experiment with the dry denim or the raw denim, here's one thing that you can do. A lot of times that smell is from bacteria. That odor causing bacteria is not good, but what you can do in order to control it or eliminate it is actually lay your jeans out, fold them up nice and neat, put them in a plastic bag, and stick them in the freezer for about five hours. 
What this is actually going to do is kill all those odor causing bacterial things that are all over the place. So they're going to smell a lot better. Well, they're not going to smell like the bacteria, but they are going to smell like life that you've been experiencing. Like if you're going into a bar, it's going to stink like a bar. If you go here, I mean, think about it. Now there is a way to actually deal with that. And what these denim enthusiasts recommend is you actually hang them up and squirt the jeans with Febreze. And what you're going to do is just sort of let them hang out for about a day. And this is going to help keep your jeans as fresh as possible. So freeze them, hang them, shoot them with Febreze less thinky. And when dealing with raw denim, another term you need to understand is the term selvaged, all right? Here's the deal. Raw refers to the wash, selvaged refers to the edge. The jean on the right has a selvaged edge, and what this is going to do is actually reinforce that jean, prevent it from unraveling, and really make it a stronger, more durable product. Commitment. That is the word I would use to define the movement that is raw denim. You've got to be committed to the cause. I love the result. I think the jeans, after they've been worn and done that whole process, I think they look amazing. I, however, am not that committed. I am committed to smelling good all the time. I also like my clothes to be clean. So it's not going to work for me. But that doesn't mean that it's not going to work for you. If you would like to try it, I'm here to tell you that the price all over the board. You can find some great pairs under $100 and I've listed a few down below. Uh, everything from Levi's to Dickies to the Gap has them, but they also go up just like regular jeans. There are a hundred different brands out there. If you talk to a denim enthusiast or a denim head, they're definitely going to have the recommendation for you. Me, I am not one, so all I can do is offer some links. But gentlemen, I wanted to explain what this whole phenomenon that is going on revolving around the term raw denim. Because for people like me, for people like you, you just don't know. And you're walking around, I don't want you to be talking to somebody and not be educated because you're going to be like, oh yeah, I love Dark West jeans too. And they're going to be like, uh, uh, those things? They spit on you, smack you in your face and kick your pants. Going through what they go through to get beautiful jeans, you can kind of understand why they have a denim chip on their shoulder. I get it. Gentlemen, it was a pleasure. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. All right. Now, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't just offer a few little morsels of food for thought. Are you planning on dating in the next six months? If you are, how many second dates are you going to get? If you go and the date is like, yeah, uh, Janice, he was cute and all, but he smelled like uh, balls really bad. Gas! Yeah! Who doesn't have the occasional bout of tremendous gas and you're farting all over the place? And you know the kind of farts I'm talking about. The ones that are like, knock your socks off. Usually people are like, yeah, it's my fart. It doesn't smell that. And the ones are like, wow, right? Your jeans aren't charcoal filters. They are absorbing the stink. That stink is actual particles. Of <laughs> Do I have to explain everything? Think about it before you embark on it. Is it practical for your life is all I'm saying. But for those of you who are, the jeans are pretty sweet looking.